Hello everybody! This video will show you how to install Windows 7 from, a, from DVD on a computer or laptop and keep all your settings and installed programs that exist in the current version of your operating system. Such type of installation will be relevant for people who need to update their operating system to a newer version but don't want to lose their data, settings and installed programs. Suppose we have a test computer with Windows Vista, Microsoft Office, some software and documents. For installation we will need a Windows 7 setup disk which you can buy or create and a product key. There is no need to change any additional settings in BIOS and Windows in case of such installation, but you need to make sure that your disk C has enough free space, because the newer version of the operating system usually takes more space. To start the installation process, insert the disk into the DVD drive and enable Auto Start. Or click on the file setup.exe. If the computer can't boot from the disk, you should check if it works properly with another computer or laptop. If the disk doesn't work with another computer, then it is not a setup disk or it is badly damaged. You should record the disk again or try another copy of Windows 7. In the installation window, click Install and the setup utility copies temporary files to the computer. Windows will offer you to download the latest updates. It is quite logical to install an updated system. For this purpose, you need an Internet connection and it will make the installation process longer. Yet, I do recommend installing an operating system without updates, because they can become another cause of errors and even block the installation process. You can add updates after the installation is complete and there will be not any negative uh, consequences. Accept the license agreement and select the installation type. It is the most important stage when installing Windows 7. If you choose full installation, the system will ask you to select the disk where to install Windows. With this type of installation, you will lose files, settings and software in the system partition. This method is not good for us. If data, programs and settings don't matter, then it would be better to make a clean installation of Windows by starting the setup disk from BIOS. But updating means installation onto the existing operating system. It helps you to keep all your data and settings as well as all installed software. We select this method because the most important thing about updating Windows on the existing system is about keeping settings and programs untouched. Compatibility testing on the way. And after that the process of Windows installation and update begins. It is automatic and does not require the user's participation. When updating, the Windows Easy Transfer is used. All files are saved to the same partition where the operating system is installed. In fact, further process is similar to full installation of Windows 7. While Windows 7 is being installed, I would like to mention possible problems you can face when installing Windows 7 from a DVD. 90% of all problems connected with installation of the operating system are caused by the setup media, no matter if it is a disk or a USB drive, or the Windows image you are using. Make sure you use only official copies by Microsoft. There are cases when installation errors appear because of slight mechanical damage to the DVD disk. This problem can be solved by writing a setup image to a good disk. When installing uh, the operating system with a DVD drive, make sure that the disk drive works perfectly. A drive with a worn-out laser cannot recognize any disk and may produce reading errors on a critical cluster of installation data. When writing an image to disk, select the minimal speed of burning in record settings. Such approach will minimize the number of writing errors and excludes the data reading problems when installing an operating system. After updating hardware, the computer can sometimes encounter errors if the power supply unit becomes too weak for the new parts. This problem is expressed by unexpected restarts during installation or by long freezes that require a restart. The notorious and widely known blue screen of death will always appear during installation of Windows if your computer's random access memory has damaged cells.
The only way to solve this problem is to replace the faulty RAM module. Any peripheral devices connected to the computer may have unpredictable effects on the installation process. That is why when during installation uh, your system runs into a typical mistake connected with these devices, unplug everything and leave only the mouse and the keyboard. In the course of window installation, uh, the computer will restart several times. There is nothing unusual about it. The process will take some time and the system will offer you to work with additional settings. You can postpone it and change settings later, as I do, or use the recommended settings, if you are a beginner. Select the time zone and click Next. If your computer is connected to a network, Windows will also suggest selecting network settings. Select Work Network. If you have a product key for Windows 7, enter it in the following window or uncheck the box Automatic Activation and click Next. When the updating is over, you will have a clean Windows, while desktop icons, user files, settings and programs will be preserved. Finally, I would like to say that when you update Windows this way, your key from the previous version of the operating system will not be kept, so be ready to get a new one for Windows 7. If you lost some files as a result of installing, reinstalling, updating or resetting Windows, you can bring them back with Hetman Partition Recovery. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. We'll be glad to answer any questions in comments. Thank you for watching and good luck!